Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. The first message that I have here is, wow, I've tried to replace you, I failed. So the energy I'm picking up with this message here is that your person was under the impression that they were going to go out and they were going to find you in someone else. They were sadly mistaken here. Um, they have learned that your energy is unmatched. You are unlike anyone they have ever met. You're irreplaceable. And I'm seeing that the qualities that you possess stood out so much to this person that they actually prepared like a list in their head, um, just unconsciously, you know, comparing you to other people like, oh, they have to have this, they have to have that. Not even realizing that these were the qualities that you naturally possess here. So your person thought that they were going to find you in someone else and they failed miserably here. Wow. Let's go ahead and get the next one out here. We have I'm pretending to be happy. Exactly. Um, the, the vision I just got here is your person could be, you could be seeing your person on social media and they look like they are just having an amazing time. They're having a blast. Um, you can see them, you know, with different friends or maybe you've heard that they're dating someone or they're seeing someone new and they just look so happy. Your person is putting on the biggest front at this time. They are not happy or things are not as they seem here. So take this information. I'm even getting, you could be hearing things um, about your person or what they may be doing or what they may be up to here. This is all a front here. This is all the front here. Your person is not as happy as they seem and they want you to know that they're pretending here. I'm also getting that your person may have a huge ego. A huge ego to where when you separated, maybe they didn't even want to give you the satisfaction that they even cared as much as they really did. But the truth is that they do. And they care so much that they had to put on a front to seem as if Everything in their life is going so amazing, you know, just to make you feel some kind of way. All right, let's get into the next message here. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I'm tired of hiding my true feelings. Exactly. Your person is has so many deep, deep emotions for you that they do not openly express to you here. And it's weighing on them. I'm even getting that your person is taking them way more energy to pretend that they don't feel this way than it does for them to just, you know, really not feel that way. Um, it's taking them so much more. They're, they're exerting so much energy into pretending at this time. It's like, it's something that's keeping this person from being real with you. I don't know what it is. Maybe this person is intimidated by you. Maybe this person doesn't want to give you the satisfaction of knowing that um, they messed up or whatever it is, but they want you to know that they're tired at this point. They're like, look, I can't hide this anymore. I'm just ready to come clean. I don't even wanna keep playing and keep pretending as if you're not as important to me as you actually are. Yeah, your person is, is ready to just give it up here. They're ready to give up the app here. Let's get the next message. We have, you are the missing piece. Wow. Hmm. So what I'm getting here is the feminine energy here. You infuse so much positivity and so much radiance into your person's life. Okay. And once this energy was taken from their lives, once you are separated, you stop talking, you pull back your energy a little bit, you know, you fell back, whatever it is that happened in the situation here, they are realizing that it was you the whole time. They're like, wow, like, why don't I feel so upbeat anymore? Why don't I feel so exciting? Why don't I feel so, you know, like myself anymore? 
you had this ability to highlight all of the best parts of your person and you had a way of bringing this side out of them. I'm seeing that you made this person laugh. You made them smile. Um, you always looked at the brighter side brighter side of things. You were extremely nurturing to your person here. And when your energy was kind of hijacked from their life, like this is how your person is feeling like all of a sudden, like all of this is stripped away here. And they feel like, well, I can't even find this in anybody else. Like, I don't even feel this way about anybody else or nobody else makes me feel this way here. They're realizing that your energy is the missing piece. It's you. Let's get the next message here. We have our story doesn't end here. Okay, your person wants you to know that it's, it's not over. Okay. They may have put on the, you may have been under the impression that it was over. They could have even put on the front as if it was over. Your person is not letting you go that easy. So if you thought that it was over, you know, we're done. They have moved on. They, this person has replaced me. I see them on social media. They look so happy. They look like their life is just amazing. I'm even getting the feminine energy. You could have thought like, well, well, damn, was it me? Like they moved on. Everything is great. No. Your person wants to come towards you and your person actually is planning to come towards you here because they want you to know that it's it's not over, okay? Regardless of how it looks, it's not over. Let's get the next card, the last card here. Wow. We have expect the unexpected. <laughs> they are up to something here. They are up to something. They are tired of playing pretend. They're tired of hiding their feelings. And your person is preparing to come towards you here. But you are not going to expect this at all. Um, I'm also picking up that not only does your person want to approach you, your person wants, it's something about your reaction to either hearing from your person, whether they text you, whether they email you, whether they call you, maybe they're going to invite you out to drinks or something for you to talk or whatever it is. It's something about your energy when your person reaches out to them. They want you to be happy to hear from them. So maybe you guys ended off a little sour or maybe they don't know how you feel about them anymore. Maybe there could have been a long time since the last time you guys spoke, but I'm getting it's something really specific about your person like that's really important to them. The way that you respond to them reaching out to you is really important to them. They're really nervous about that and they really want you to be happy to hear from them. Wow. Okay, so now we want to get into a time frame. When can you expect to hear from your person? I'm going to be using the angels answer deck for this. When can you expect to hear from your person? When can you expect to hear from your person? Wow. We have in the near future. Wow. So your person is going to catch you totally off guard here. You may not have been expecting this. You may have thought that everything was over. It was done here. They have moved on. No, your person is actually planning to reach out, for, reach out to you. And they're probably going to do it when you least expect it. So that's the message that I have for today. I will see you all in the next video. If this resonated with you, be sure to hit the like button on your way out so that others can see this video as well. Bye.